Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. So we are going to continue with the lead up to chapter 5 by completing more side quests. So I've went ahead and skipped travel to Khan and Gamma to see if we can add more to teaches, teach, teaches, teach. Nope, there's nothing there. So... We do have a question mark here though. Oh. Everyone's like talking over each other. There is a question mark here. So let's see what side quest is for. Namuki? Can we please talk later? I'm right in the middle of getting my research documents in order. Oh, my bad. Didn't mean to bother you when you're so busy. Oh, wait a moment. You are Mr. Lance, correct? Mr. Lance? My name's Lance. Don't know if I need the mister. I never would have imagined you would come to seek me out. Oh, my name is Namuki, by the way. Namuki? Namuki? Namuki. I was actually thinking of requesting you for some mentoring. Oh, well, there we go. There's a guy called you? Good for him. Wait. You mean me? You wanted me? Yeah, I'd do anything for your help. I yeah, sure. I'll do with it. I'm just so glad you chose me. I'll get back to my documents now. I'll see you at training. Uh, okay. Uh, see you later then. <laughs> Lance. <laughs> okay, we have to talk about this. Uh, I don't know if I have any other information to talk about. I did pick up some stuff like in between side quests. Uh, from Connie Gamma and not Connie Gamma, Cat, blah, blah. Connie Lambda and Connie Thirty. I think I picked up some stuff. Oh no, only from Connie Thirty. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, that's a side Let's quest. Oopsie. Well, looks like I'm reading that, and I'm gonna be doing that next after this Namuki thing. Wasn't this poly bully guy involved in hiding those me mecha front parts? Uh, I've got a bit of a bone to pick with him. He's the one who goaded Widgewidge and Dinky Dinky into making trouble. But with a name like that, he's a nup on two, right? Back then, we couldn't really get a handle on what he was about. Well, that's for sure. Let's have a word with him if we find him. Okay, I didn't mean to read this first, but we I will be doing this after Namuki's quest. I think we need to discuss this. Hey, Sina, was there a little dude called Namuki among your little protégés? What kind of person is he, would you say? Huh? Why are you asking me about him all of a sudden? Well, you see... <laughs> you really want to know. Stop acting so cocky and answer the sparky question. Now, now, hold your ponios. Truth is, the little chap asked me to teach him. Uh, finally. Good for you, Lance. You really wanted to feel important. <laughs> Uh, Lance is funny. Yeah, it's time for me to step up to the plane and do my thing at last. Wow, he must have a few screws loose if he asks a big weirdo like you for help. <laughs> I'm in a good mood today, so I'll forget you just said that. Anyway, you asked about Namuki. Uh, how can I describe him? He always has excellent grades, and he never makes a mistake. Whether in the classroom or on the battlefield. Hmm. You won't find him wrestling headlong into battle like Futsu Na Nagumo. Why a boy like Namuki would want tutoring from a brute like Lance is somewhat of an en enigma to me. Yeah, it is hard to tell what he's thinking sometimes, and inscrutably sort. Right? I have a little trouble with him, too. Come on, you lot. You call yourselves mentors. Shame on you. There's nothing more annoying than the sound of Lance getting carried away. Well, it doesn't matter what he's like. What really matters is that I make sure he knows I'm a great role model that he can depend on. That's probably not the lesson he's looking for. Wow, everyone just like has low expectations of Lance. It's so sad. Hey, Lance is a, is a good character too, guys. Uh, I need to activate that quest. Uh, we currently have... Here we go, this one. Research procedures. And he's over here. Namuki? Oh, what's up? You look a bit sad. 
Uh oh, never mind, you're not sad. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> the day has finally come! Uh, hey, fella! Teacher's here! What was that face just now? I had to think about what kind of thing I should teach you. But I reckon we should get to know each other by talking with our fists first. Yes, actually, I've been thinking a lot too. I've been wondering what's so different about us. Eh? Huh? I mean, the differences and similarities between you and Kaves, you and Kavesi and Agnians. But the Kavesis are supposed to be your enemies. Such curiosity is taboo. An impossible dream, so to speak. You're all so veiled in mystery. I thought I'd lost all hope of learning about you. But now look, right before my very eyes, a living, breathing Kavesi. Uh, uh, that's me. For my first step, a test to unravel the mysteries of your kind. Your kind? <laughs> Don't talk about them like they're specimen. Uh, a uh, test. What do you want about, mate? Come on, you. Aren't you curious too? It's okay, just nod your head for yes. Let's get started then. Uh, okay, uh, gotcha, gotcha, just pipe down a bit. Gotcha means understood, correct? Good to know. Uh, huh? Hey, wait, where are you going? Uh, pardon me, my excitement must have run away with me. Please, follow me, I'll explain in more detail at the training ground. What? He just wants to use Lan as a specimen. He's not interested in being taught by him. Uh, what's wrong? Come, quickly! I can barely wait to begin! Uh... See? He's a mystery, isn't he? Yeah, no joking. Hey, wait a sec! It's not nice to judge people so quick, Senna! Maybe we're not quite on the same wavelength, but at least he asked me for help. That much I understand. Probably not for the reason you want, though, Lance, if I were to take a guess. Uh, I have to meet his expectations as his mentor, right? Yeah, I guess so. You can handle it, Lance. <laughs> I have a feeling this is not mentoring. Okay, let's see what he wants, though. Oh, we got the other rest of the group is here. Eh? <laughs> What are these guys doing here? I gathered Kyrie and company to help out with my test. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Though I have no clue why we're here. Haven't we already met them through Senna's quest? I've got a rough idea. Alright, if you're all prepared, I will ask you all now to conduct the battle. The rules will be those of a mock battle. Please keep fighting until I say stop. Team Kyrie, please fight to the best of your ability in order to test our senior colleague's true strength. Uh, copy that. Of course, that means the opposing team should fight with equal fervor. Uh, okay. Are there any questions? I don't think so. Now, please take your positions. Are both sides prepared? In that case, let the battle commit. Hold up, you. Aren't you joining in? Of course not. I need to observe and take notes. But this is supposed to be your training. Don't worry, sir. Namaki is super smart. He's the prize advisor of my team. Don't worry. Just trust what he says. Ah, Kairi. You can always be relied upon for sound judgments. That's a leaderly quality. I see. So that's how it is, eh? But might as well do this anyway. Get ready, you lot. You're going down. Is it? It would be funny if it was just Lance by himself. Uh, like speaking. Oh, wait. It didn't let me. Okay. Let's use Lance. <laughs> Stick to the theme. Uh, poor Lance. He just wanted to be a teacher, but look what happened. <laughs> he just is being used as a test subject instead. Oh man, that's funny. <laughs> Okay, I haven't used any arts. Oh, one out of 26? How long am I gonna be here for? Hey, yo. Oh, gosh. If I need to, I'll skip, I promise. I don't think you guys would be interested in me showing all 26 battles. Oh, 
Okay. Uh. Buh, 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 buh. Okay. Now we're fighting people this time. So is it gonna be a pattern? Oh, we're fighting people with actual names. Uh oh. Oh boy. Yeah, this is gonna take a while, huh? Okay. Uh, got through a haul twenty six of those. That was like a good five minutes. All right, step. Please sheath your blades. Yeah, we're stronger. Phew. It's finally over. Ugh. Ugh. You satisfied now, Namuki? To be honest, I would have preferred longer, but I got the minimum data needed. I'll share my battle report later. I hope you will find it useful for improving your skills. Thanks, Namuki. You're the best. Now. I would like to have a word in private with our seniors here, so please disband in a calm and orderly fashion. This guy's a nerd. Nice work today, everyone. Yeah, see ya. They must be tired, <laughs> exhausted even. Thank you for waiting, everyone. For you three, Kavesi, allow me to give a brief review of your battle performance. Yikes, here we go. You have a good balance of skills, and are highly adaptable to emergent situations. Though, I did not see any prominent abilities. Your strength lies in having no major flaws. D do you really think so? I'm not a great judge of such things. You're excellent at utilizing ether. No, rather, your body has a remarkably high affinity for ether. It's highly efficient at converting the ether flowing through it in your abilities, just like a high-performing circuit. Well, that's the high end for you. Oh? Huh. I also have the sense that those wings on your head hold some kind of secret that ties it to this. Like I just said, the high end We know Melia had a good ether control. If you could just give me one easy feather. Nope. <laughs> okay then. I'll find out eventually though. Mr. Lance! Uh, yeah. Personally, I thought you were the most interesting of all. Just as your appearance suggests, you are by far the sturdiest of the group. Heh, <laughs> well, that's obvious. I like to push myself in my training. Actually, what species is Lance? No, I mean, even regardless of training, I think your body was made to be strong and sturdy from the beginning. It's as if you were somehow built to be as solid as possible? Looking closely... Your body tissue seems to be a quite of a different sort to Noah's or Uni's. Anyway, the three of you all have some clear differentiating features. So, what exactly is he trying to say? How would I know? I suppose neither of you have wings like me. I never really paid much attention to that. Really? You guys, you guys just thought you had these traits just for cosmetic reasons? Yeah, exactly. We're all similar and different all at the same time, but nobody really troubles themselves with that fact. Ignoring for the moment the question of this in inconsistency, I still require samples to prove these differences conclusively. And so, to begin... Mr. Lance, I will now conduct a full body inspection. <laughs> what? Uh, you can't just spring that on me. Well, I know, like, uh, due to the bathhouse scene, no one really cares about nudity here, but still, that's kind of bold. I don't mind, though. I'll just go ahead. Ow! Not snuffing her! What was that for? I should be asking you that. Why would you just strip right here in the open? But you guys literally, like, were in the bathhouse together, and it didn't seem to be a problem. <laughs> exactly! Don't scare us like that! What? It's just taking off clothes. Nothing wrong with that. Of course it's wrong. Okay, a little bit of an inconsistent here. Wait, is it? Um, I can't think of a reason? Okay, then. <laughs> so why did you suck me one then? Yeah, like, wh why did they suddenly do that? I don't know. A reflex, I guess? I yeah, you just look like you need a good smack sometimes. <laughs> what? What the snuff is with you two? Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. I should talk like a nerd. <laughs> nerd smirk. <laughs> Make that noise, right? What kind of response is that exactly? 
Is it limited only to Mr. Lance, or...? Oh, I can't just stand here idling. I need to research for my next test. What? Hey! Hold on! Oi! Come back! Oh, my apologies. My eagerness took a hold of me once again. I hope you will cooperate with me again soon, Mr. Lance. I expect great things from you. Oh! Mostly of an ecological nature. Uh, okay, sure, you can get on me. Just let me know whenever you need me. Indeed, I predicted. I mean, hoped. You might say that. Well then, that's all for me. <laughs> you hear that, Noah? He expects great things from me. Yeah, I heard. Man, it's great. Being a mentor. I don't think that was mentor-related stuff. <laughs> These Tylons like, ugh. This dude. Big airhead. And that's the end of that quest. Research procedures. Alright, now let's go ahead and do that other one I accidentally started talking to, the true culprits. So let's go ahead and fast travel to Colony 30. Okay, here at Colony 30. Let's talk to Pully Pully. Why did you do that to Mecha Friend, huh? You, Pully Pully! Oh, he looks like a nerd. Meh meh meh! It's you guys! Hey! Get back here! Why did he run away? Something fishy going on, definitely. Smells like guilt. Let's get after him. Where did you go? Oh, he's still here. Wait. Play police tracks? Interact? Ooh, we get to do this again. Thank goodness. Bum, 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 bum. Should we go down here? This little area reminds me of like uh, below New LA in Xenoblade Chronicles X. Okay, so he went swimming? This way? Ooh. I didn't even notice that was over here. It was kind of hard to see on the map actually. Oh, secret area. Woo! Okay. And now we climb up, 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 up. Better give it a good once over. Big fault. Ooh, secret cave. Is this gonna lead anywhere? Ooh, seems it is. Somewhere where I couldn't get to before. Probably. Is this a secret lair or just a passageway? Oh, it's just a passageway. Okay. Can I get that container? Is it here? Is it on top or below? Oh, it's below. Okay, I went the wrong way before. I'm supposed to go this way. I just got so excited by by the fact that there was a secret trail. I wasn't paying attention to the tracks. Okay, but I'm on the right trail now. Oh, this is long. I can't even see the top. How high is this gonna go? Secret area, secret area, secret area. Never seen this place before. Oh, we found you, Pully Pully. Wait, have we been here? No, we haven't. Pully Pully, what are you guilty of this time? Speak. Hey, what you scribbling there? Doing best and working hard for Alexandria. Please give many praises as reward. Oh. Meh! Don't look at this thing without ask! You very rude character! Alexandria? The Alexandria who's the commander of Colony Iota. That Alexandria. What exactly were you working so hard for her on? And I recommend being as detailed as possible. From where I'm standing, it looks like you were doing intelligence work. Meh <laughs> This has nothing to do with Alexandria! Pully pully free agent! Act only for self! Lies. I feel like we shouldn't be addressing this alone. We should put this to Colony 30. Can I just whip out Alexandria and be like, Yo! What's up? Some relationships changed. Okay. 
Okay, I came back to Colony 30. We're now gonna talk to use it. Okay, let me see if I've got it right. This Nopon was intending to pass Colony 30 intelligence onto another colony. In addition, hoping to cause rifts within the colony, he masterminded this plan to steal Mecha Friend's parts. Yeah, that's about it. Pully Pully now let Colony 30 defeat Alexandria. So, Pully Pully defeat Colony 30 instead and make Alexandria happy. That plan. <laughs> yeah, like that was gonna fly. Going against a silver rank colony? Yeah, sure. So, what now, Commander Valdi? Good question. I don't want my friends to be hurt. So, Pully Pully, can we all just be friends and get along? Valdi. Who put him as the commander, like, actually? Valdi. Pully Pully, sorry. Pully Pully feels so huge remorse. Oh, it's forgiven. Really? Baldi says he forgives him. <laughs> no one's happy about that. Pully, Pully, I've changed your heart and work very hard now. I feel like everyone just takes advantage of Baldi that they say they'll change, but they really don't. <laughs> I'm not seeing that quest. Okay. <laughs> that was easy. Okay, I've went ahead and traveled to Colony 4 because there's a question mark here. Oh, phew, you made it back okay. Bolarius? I want to make sure that's right. Bolari. Bolar. What? Bolaris. Okay. Bolaris. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Bolaris gave us a heads up. We heard what happened, so Ethel's. Your expression says it all. She bet her life on the fight, and she's gone. <laughs> oh, Ethel. She was always charging off on her own. Spock it. Okay, enough blathering. We need to decide where we go from here. Yeah, you're right. So, now what, Bolarius? We choose a new cap, Commander? Bolarius, hello? Mm. No, not mm. We need a plan. Oh, right. I'm sorry, I just... I need some time to think. Ex excuse hey Bolarius He's taking it pretty badly as you'd expect But the smoothest course is for the lieutenant to step up as commander If things fall apart here, then that's gonna endanger colony for survival Yeah, but he's not up to it. Nothing we can do. We need Ethel now more than ever. Hilarious. Ooh. Some relationships changed. Let's see. That was a lot heavier than I expected it to be. Okay. Let's walk up here. Some relationships changed. Yes, Lance. Thank you very much for letting me know. He's up here? Uh, oh, he's in the quarters, okay. The ooh, commander's quarters, I think they called it. Most likely. Uh, he probably doesn't want to be commander is what I'm thinking. Either he misses Ethel, obviously, or he just doesn't want to be commander. Hey, what's up, bro? Boliaris, speak to me. What's wrong? Talk about your feelings. The commander would come here often when she needed to think. She told me her favorite thing in the world was the view of Colony 4 she got from here. We vow to follow her to the ends of the world. That's the kind of person she was. Ethel will always be our commander. I can't imagine anything else. 
I'm sorry, Valerius. I don't know what to say. Sorry, I guess I must look pretty pathetic to you right now. Say, do you reckon you could do something for me? Yeah, of course, anything. Can you take me to where the commander had her last battle? Boliaris, that's... Yeah, we can take you. Well, this is where Altha was. Here's her Pharaonis. Ugh. Can't believe we just left this hair. The Turkans are gonna claim him. Of course, little stealers. That's Athel's Pharaonis. Hold up a minute. Who's that lot over there? It's just the Turkans. What are those Turkans up to? Are they taking over the Pharaonis? Is that possible? Uh, what? Polaris, wait! Get away from that Pharaonis! How dare you defile Commander at this resting place! I'll tell you all to pieces! Oh, he mad. Rogue Turkins, okay. I'm the one you want. Ooh. I feel like I need to be sad for the, the theme of this quest, but at the same time, that's just gonna bring a dapper mood on the gameplay. Okay, um... I'm gonna lower this volume. I kinda hate how the gameplay volume goes up with the battle versus, like, Outside of battle, so I have to keep adjusting the volume. It's not fun. Or right, sometimes I forget, and then you can barely hear me. Oh! Oh my God! Ugh. Oh my gosh! They got a huge blowdown. Hey, I've been toppled. Thank you. Okay, let's uh, keep everyone focusing on just one turkin. Okay, two more. Let's go ahead. Okay. <sighs> Learn your lesson now, you feathered menaces. Simmer down, Borear. Bo bleh. Boliaris. If we lose you too. Just tell me one thing. How did the commander die? She fought with every she had to settle things with Kamaravi. Not even Mobius stealing her flame could take her will. She was so noble. I felt like I was looking at the sun. She was so glorious. I uh, see. Thanks for telling me. Her rivalry with Kamaravi was really that important? I need to think I feel like I need some context on that. She fought, chewed herself to the bitter end. Well, then I guess I have my own fight to fight. I have to defend her legacy. Let's get back to the colony, Bolieris. Everyone's waiting for you. Now, when Ethel does come back, is she gonna come back as a first term or a tenth term? Is what I wanna know. But that's for the future, I guess. Okay, back to the council room. Hey, it's me. Call the squad captains to the council room. It's time to resume the meeting. You've got this. Will you join us? You don't have to do anything. Just observe. Yeah, sure. First you run off, and then you resume the media like nothing happened. What are you playing at, Boliaris? I'm sorry, everyone. I'll explain everything later. 
But before that, there's something I've got to say to you. Then you better come out and say it. Okay, then. Listen up. I, Boliaris, hereby... Resign my seat as lieutenant, and take on the role of acting commander. What? What? You can't just- Wait a second, what did you say? What do you mean, acting? Maybe I can explain if you'll shut up for a minute. Look, I'm not cut out to be the commander. You said it, not us. She's the only commander we'll ever have. I know you probably think so, and- Spark it, I agree. But a calling for won't last much longer like this. They act like uh, she'll be coming back or something. We cannot lose the colony commander Ethel left in our hands. So I'm stepping up at her place to lead this colony. We certainly need someone who can command us all, but... And what's with this acting idiocy? That's not the magnificent announcement you seem to think it is. <laughs> You're joking, right? Sorry, Denzel, but I'm deadly serious. I know something I'm not suited to the role, so, but I can't hand it over to anyone. So he's just going to take place of the commander for now until they all decide to find someone more suitable. I don't see a problem with it. I didn't think you'd be on board with this, Maxie. Ethel had an energy that we lack. And that energy is what led us to get to silver in three terms. See, this is basically just the game telling us that Ethel's gonna come back. <laughs> uh, by not Im immediately having a new commander. I can feel something similar from Borlieris now. I think it's a good direction to go in. Looks like our maverick loose cannon has mellowed out. I think that you have to change if you're gonna survive. You have to learn to accept anything. We need to bring our colony back to the top. That's what you're saying, is it, Maxie? Well, I suppose this way is better than some interminable yawn fest to decide her successor. Decisiveness was always one of Ethel's colony force precepts. Well, now that you declared yourself, I hope you'll be up for the job, acting commander. You mean... Now that we're all agreed, you better start rooting us around, Acting Commander. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take care of everything. Well, looks like the, that's settled for now until Ethel's return. <laughs> okay. Okay, and then to end off this episode, we're gonna do one last quest, which will be over here in Colony Iota. With whatever is going on over here. <laughs> Doesn't look good. Oh, hey, Shell. Or Chickadee, sorry. And gratitude of your courageousness work here. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. <laughs> the possibilities. What's this? Everyone's having a grand old time. Ah, yes, I guess you don't know about this. Today's Harvest Day. It only happens once a month. What's Harvest Day? It's an evaluation day, basically. Every month, the colony evaluates soldiers of their cooperation, boldness, and results. It's a day where the soldiers who contribute the most to the colony get a little appreciation. Can I be straight with you? In my book, evaluations are pretty much the exact opposite of fun. But it's not the evaluation everyone's looking forward to. It's the, it's the benefits. The chosen soldiers get to ask for anything they want. That's kind of dangerous. What? Like, anything? Like cured armor sirloin? Or some seafoam soap? Anything, as long as it's technically possible. Spock's alive, that sounds wicked! And next we have... Misaka, of Sequoia's team. Is Misaka here? Hey, you don't think she's still in the intel analysis suite, do you? She might be, yeah. 
Probably clean forgot today was the day. But I did tell her in advance. Shall we go get her? You can keep the show going, yeah? Oh, I can't ask you to go all that trouble. We don't mind. You just keep doing your job. Well, if you're insisting, thank you so much. Then, could you give this to her? Harvest ATR. Oh, that's cute. You don't have to give it... You don't have to give it to her in person? Sequoia's team really busy at the moment. I wonder if there's something going on with them. They wouldn't mind, I'm sure. Just tell them I sent you. Alright, we'll go. Harvest day. Okay, just over here. I mean, she's not that far. They really could have gone themselves, right? Uh, she's sleeping. Ugh, how could this? I just can't. It's all so... She's asleep. Gotta have to wake her up, aren't we? <laughs> That's not how you wake someone up, Uni. Especially someone you don't know. Uh, don't do that! I'm ticklish! My bad, but we had to think of something. We could just shake her awake. Gently shake her. Those wings can be a real instrument of torture, eh? I didn't realize you could do that with them. You know, you've been selected for Harvest Day, right? You should have been notified already. Uh, oh! Now I remember. I thought I'd have a little nap till it was time. Oh no, the award ceremony. It's now. Yeah, okay, pause your ponios. Why do you think we came all this way? Can I have worn that tiara? Oh! Yay, I did it! Now I can get my luxury shampoo. Chickity sent her regards and all that guff. Congratulations! Thanks. Anyway, you'll have to excuse me. There's pr procedure to follow. Good shampoo's how to come by. Harvest Day's about the only chance to get your hands on it. Sorry for the inconvenience. Not at all. It's been an enlightening experience. How long do you have this evaluation system in place? Since Chicky arrived, I think. So, for two years now. About the same time as Kayoni started to distinguish itself. That girl's not much of a fighter, but she really excels at this kind of thing. Anyway, if you want to know more about how it all works, you should sh ask Chiggity herself. That makes sense. We need to report back about Misaki anyway. Let's get back to Chiggity. Alright. What is this cool thing? Can I get something cool too? Can work with everything, Chickadee. We give the tiara to Misaki. All the rewards ha awards have been given out. Thank you so much for your help. You said Sakura's team was busy. Well, it looks like it's taken its toll on Misaki. Following the collectopedia card movements takes great patience and concentration. That's why I wanted to make something like Harvest Day. To show people their hard work was appreciated. Ah, so the evaluation system was your idea. It was, and somehow I made... It come to fruition, with Dame Alex's backing. If we all wanted was an evaluation system, the Flame Clock and Homecoming would have done the job just fine. But you have to wait so long to see results that way. I wanted something a bit more immediate. A good way to improve soldiers' skills. It serves a direct personal benefit, and stops people losing heart. I'm not really one of nature's fighters. But if this is the only way I can support the colony, then I'll do it with pride. And now that the colony has been freed, I can do so much more. Thank you, everyone. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> okay. That was so quick that I feel like I need to fill up a little extra time for something. Oh, actually. Yeah, let me grab that information. I don't think I'll, like, go over it, but... 
I haven't really looked around Colony Iota very much. Okay, yeah, let me just collect all this. I'll read it at a different time. Um, I'm, I think I might do a hero quest next. I'll have to see. I, I need to figure out how I want to space. Because uh, there's going to be quite a lot of side quests to go over at this point. And I wanted to make sure I do like the hero quest in the middle of it. So I'll have to figure that out. Uh, let me just grab this. Because there is one hero that I do have available to me. I believe. I just have to figure out where it is. <laughs> Okay, goods and storage. Does that mean there's another one around here I need to find? Oh yeah, it's over there. Okay, I'll just grab that. <sighs> Gotta go around. 20%? Woo! Okay. Well, and I guess with that, the episode... We'll end here. Yeah, all what I just mentioned before, I'll figure out. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this playthrough. And you can also follow me on Twitter and Twitch at Crypto underscore Agate, as well as Instagram. And you can also follow my second channel, Crypto's Laboratory. But until the next episode, bye for now.